Hello, welcome back. This is Ninja Maker. I'm back at again with the gaming. Let's play some more Azure Striker Gunvolt 3. Uh, I know it's been like almost a week since I touched this game. Uh, I have a reason for that. I mean, I've been kind of busy with working at my job recently. And then I've been having a bit of a problem with my computer running slow. Then had a bit of a problem with uh, Streamlabs OBS, which is like problems on top of problems so i had to do a little maintenance on my computer make sure the, the performance was at, at at its top at its best i mean make sure the performance on my computer is at the highest that it can be and then i had to play around with the settings with my streamlabs obs make sure the bit rates are good make sure the volume is at where it's supposed to be so everything is good for now but uh, kind of excited to jump back to this game again. Uh, pretty fun. Let's do it. Love the title screen. Love it. Make sure all the things are where I want them to be. Ooh. Stormy Mega Float. So this mission is at Neptune, that massive marine distribution center. These primal dragons show up in the most wild places. Marine. Marine. Oh yeah, Gunfall is weak in water. What's the matter? Nothing. I just don't have fond memories associated with water. Called it. Is that so? Don't worry, Gunvolt. Yeah. Don't worry, Gunvolt. You'll be fine. Yeah. 
Cool. The music is still going on. The anime music is still going on. We should be able to use that to proceed. Just need to jump before we get thrown off. Online all the time without thinking much of it. 
There really is a lot of amazing technology behind it. Sumaragi has the image of being a big evil corporation, but it's hard to deny that this side of the company supports people's lives. Whew, finally got all the way up. It looks like the primal dragon's just ahead. All right, there it goes. Hey, only authorized personnel are allowed here. What's your name and who's your supervisor? I'm Kirin, battle priestess for Shadow Yakumo, on loan to Sumaragi's dragon saviors. I heard there was someone out of control here. As for the authorization, I'll get that later. Sumiragi. I wasn't informed of this. Have you no respect for proper business etiquette? Paperwork must be submitted months in advance before any outsiders can be allowed entry. Looks like it's now my job to beat some business sense into you. Oh, what a stick in the mud. Will your eyes be able to keep up? Yes, we'll see. If you can't submit paperwork in triplicate, you can't be trusted in proper society. Before submission, inform the recipient by email and then confirm the timeline by phone. That's the most basic of basics. Commit it to heart. I'll bury you. Hate to break it to you, but we're a hands-on, in the field sort of company. So I couldn't care less about any Where of that. I can live without that entry level. Five years of experience needed stuff. You really don't need a family-like atmosphere either. I don't think that has anything to do with business etiquette. Just can't believe this. Pulsif, you forcing your subordinates to work unpaid overtime? Think the world famous Sumidaki was lost in such a toxic work environment. Proper work life balance leads to increased efficiency and a happy workforce. Beyond saving! I always thought our work environment was pretty good. They even provide room and board. Room and board? <laughs> your employees work around the clock? To fire kidding with managers like you who needs competitors you can see there's no reasoning with you i'm putting you on a performance improvement plan putting aside moral judgments for a moment society takes all kinds you know having some amount of flexibility makes all the difference if you're such a stickler you for the rules my radiant fetters will this. shake up your world Stop your feet is sealed easy peasy <laughs> Enemy attack. Oh, uh, this chick again? Good.
to send that required. Press down quite quickly and press X during the reload step for my high speed dash. Theme song for the Dragon Savior. Cool. Damn it. I'm appalled at how much trouble I caused the innocent people of the city. I, Apollo, sincerely apologize for my actions. To repay you for saving me. I wish to dedicate myself to assisting the Dragon Saviors. Sure, no problem. Them just like that. Instantly. Kidding? Oh, we got a fresh face? <sighs> Come on. It's another dude. Hmm. Apollo, how about we put you in charge of keeping an eye on the personnel? HR seems like a good fit for you. Good idea, Kidding. You'd have a tough time keeping track of all the new staff by yourself. Very well. In that case, I'd like to fast track some attitude adjustments for the cheeky one. Any objections? Are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a hard worker. <sighs> Apollo, seeing the way you fight made me want to create a new move of my own. You have a keen eye, Battle Priestess. What sort of ability have you been practicing? If I press attack as I reload by pressing down twice quickly, I'll turn invisible and dash, getting myself closer to enemies in an instant. I see. And this came from watching me? Um, yeah, that's right. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but aren't you playing things a bit loose? N no way! I think everything through! Okay, good for you. Lumen was a popular virtual idol before I was even born, right? I bet no one would have guessed that she was a Septima. Lumen's identity was top secret. Only a few of Sumadagi's top brass knew the truth. We can thank them for allowing Lumen here to operate as a reboot of the original one. Don't you mean the long-awaited remodel Lumen version 2.0? Either way, it's great having you around. The Bureau of Dragon Saviors is a brand new department here, and we're very combat focused. A cute mascot like Lumen goes a long way to soften the opposition to us from inside and out. Hmm. A cute mascot? I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Just who do you think is helping you search for signals of new primal dragons? And who else is going to show up in battle when you're totally out of HP and your fetters are about to wear off? Also, who keeps TV's rampage, mostly, under control? That's all thanks to my power. But it's not like you can always do that, right? Isn't it random? But, but I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, Lumen. When I awaken with your power, I always feel stronger than ever. I don't know where I'd be without you. Well, that power is pretty close to a rampaging primal dragon, so we'd better not rely on it if we can help it. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I'll go work on a new theme song for the Dragon Saviors. Fight with your comrades have deepened. Old Capital Temple. <sighs> Looks like a primal dragon has appeared at a temple in the old city. Yet another odd location. 
Maybe the Adept just happened to be there when they transformed into a primal dragon. It seems the security has been fully mechanized. Not exactly what you'd expect from a temple. If the dragon radiation also caused it to go haywire, this won't be a simple task. Alright, let's jump to it. Alright, in battle. Uh, Japan. The temple's all the way up there. A strange location for one. Higher altitudes are considered safer these days. Probably not safe for primal dragons, though. Even traditional buildings are constructed with modern defense systems, huh? Sometimes you even hear about famous. I wonder if this gate was built with suicides. It's wide open. That must be the dragon's handiwork. Looking at it, though, isn't it a bit much? This is a temple, after all. You think so? That's a chain fire lamp. Hitting it with an arc chain should send us flying. Why? Easy. I thought the chain lamps were supposed to be data terminals. The fire lamps are a new version that incorporates Sumerian's yeah. anti gravity technology. Ninja. Easy. Ooh, ninja. A ninja here. That's one of Sumeragi's anti adept specialists. The arc chain will do jack for me here. If you can't take them down in one hit, just keep on attacking. I know you can do this. This stone wall is really sunken. It's just like a castle. I heard it was built to make a name for the place and attract visitors. Yeah, there's so much I have dialogue no happening. about how useful it really is. Even people at Shadow Yukumo don't have many nice things to say about this place. It was always something about how they spend their money. Wow. Seriously? <laughs> Yeah. Boing. Uh -huh. This is fun. Inside the temple. Let's get in there. Oh. Anime music again. Take 
wherever we go it's just the best way to divide up different sections of an area now let's get moving and stop that primal dragon <laughs> breaking the fourth wall there Must be the ones ruining all the peace and quiet around here. Huh? That was going to be my line. It's against my principles to raise a hand against women and children. But even if I want to show mercy, these muscles of mine won't allow it. My muscles, together with my duelist Septima, are gonna waste you. Come on, biceps! Here comes the pump! Uh, meathead. Let's fight like men! Okay. Whew, he's a pretty heated guy. I know he's totally berserk and all, but maybe we should hear him out a bit. My soul is trembling, and so are my backs! I was right to come to this temple to punish my muscles and put the perfect cap on my trait. Every fiber of my massive muscles is twitching with ecstasy after being someone as strong as you. This is the true joy of training. Ever hear of a gym? You should go there instead of a temple if you want to work on your physique. Hmm. A man's true path of training leads to a waterfall outside a temple. I think his head is filled with nothing but muscles, too. Yeah, he's a perfect example of a meathead. I mean, it's probably because he went to serve. You don't like the 
ever find way I talk, huh? Right now, all I'm here for is pure Mega Man combat! A collision of souls! Sorry, but I don't want that. My duel is Septima, and these muscles I sculpted for many years are a combination without parallel! If something can be destroyed, they will do just that! Okay, buddy, you're sick of hearing about muscles. I'm gonna shut that muscle mouth of yours with my feathers. Your fate is sealed. Whoa. Uh oh, what's going on? Let's settle this in the ring. Okay. Let's have some fun, okay? Uh oh. Uh, I can't go outside the red ring. I wonder what happens when I step outside. Yep. Oh my god. I'm surprised it didn't go berserk like the last dude did. Let's show a splash of fire. Hold up. Press X to form a powerful copy. Click the instrument. Alrighty. Hmm. Dude, more stuff. Oh yes, more anime bus. Oh, I remember you. To lose myself in a rage like that, I, Cayman, will live with this failure forever hey it's dojo kujo from dojo i swear on these muscles that i will make amends please find a way any way for me to be of use it wasn't your fault that you went out of control if anyone's to blame it's me but if you still feel that way you can do good by saving others who are going through the same thing you did gun vaults you may look like a little puppy, but you have sharp eyes. Those eyes of yours have seen the path of training through to its conclusion. You are a true man. No, I am a true dog. I, Cayman, swear that these muscles will serve you, even should my flesh and bone be ground to dust. Thank you. We'll be counting on you, Cayman. Now give it my all. Now, Gunvolt, my muscle brother. What? An extra manly hug for you. <laughs> Gun Volt, too tight. Some warning would be appreciated. <laughs> Gunvolt, you have exemplary hamstrings, even for a beast like you. Hey, Kitty, don't just watch. Help. <laughs> wow, you two really are fast friends. That's great. 
delinquent and his trusty dog. This would make an awesome movie. Pretty sure there are already some movies based on that. Seeing your hand-to-hand -hand fighting style inspired me to come up with a new sword technique, Cayman. I always say that taking on tough opponents is the best way to improve yourself. So, what's the technique like? If I hold up and press the attack button on the ground, I can do a jumping attack that's perfect for fighting airborne enemies. Oh, a drag punch! <laughs> what? What the fuck was that word? Why is it censored? Why is it there? That concludes our record of the incident that occurred in the aforementioned country we obtained through Layla's septima. Oh. Oh my god, her boobs. Too much boobs in this game. Way too much boobs. Thanks for the report, Sistina. You and Layla must have put in long hours gathering all that information. That dude looks like Gunvolt. When he's going a uh, high authorizing. Like he is like fully authorized, going like a very high organizer. <sighs> now that these primal dragons have appeared, we can't just sit by and watch. I have a feeling this is that child's handiwork. It would be so much easier if Sumeragi would just open up and share their info and tech with other countries. Holding exclusive technology regarding Septimus grants them a significant advantage over other countries. Sumeragi would never give that up. So we'd just be wasting time trying to cooperate, and we don't have that kind of time to spare. Mm. Our investigations of the primal dragons revealed that Layla's Jin can control them while they are weakened or unconscious. Which means we have our trump card. Now, we just need to get to that child. If we hope to get anything done, we need to get a move on. Layla, can you sense it? The Child of Hope's location? <gasps> <gasps> How shall we proceed? Smeragi's barriers are unparalleled. It will be near impossible to enter the country through them. What's up with the check with the, uh... The hoodie bunny ears. We have our new APF warheads, don't we? They should have no trouble with any barriers. I should have known you already had a plan. I will have the missiles deployed post haste. Thanks, Sistina. I'll inform the research team myself. My pleasure. All glory to Prince Zed's magnificent plan. Here. I'm detecting five missile launches, and they're heading toward our borders. Uh oh. Missiles? Isn't the entire country protected by a huge barrier? Uh, well, it looks like the missiles have already slipped right past it. Are you friggin' kidding me? The border guard is trying to intercept them. This strange force field appears to be diverting all attacks. That force field might be the same thing that allowed them to pass the barrier. Sharon, are you able to calculate the coordinates of the missiles in real time? Hell yeah! That shouldn't be a problem for my Septima. But what are you planning to do? I once encountered an adept who could turn their body into electronic data, allowing them to warp over distances. I've never tried it myself, but with those coordinates, I assure Striker should be capable of the same thing. You want to just try that out now? For the first time? On top of some missiles? Those missiles are traveling at an extremely high speed. Even if you were able to warp as you say, any slight miscalculation of the coordinates would be a hell of a worker's comp claim. You don't have to worry about that. I have total confidence in Shiran. After that, 
and will all be up to me. Uh, no pressure or anything, right? I'll still do it, though. I'll go with you, then. You can do that, right? Just one more person shouldn't be a problem. I make no promises that this will work. If you went by yourself and ended up going primal, no one would be there to stop you. Besides, you'll be fine, right, GV? Just leave the rest up to me. Got it. Thank you, Keating. Rest of you, assist Sheeran however you can. much time. I've never done this before, but I'll have to use my Azure Striker to turn our bodies into electricity and warp to them. Sheeran, I'm counting on you for those coordinates. Uh, hell yeah! Hell yeah. Your bones are deep. Bad news, guys! There's five missiles headed towards us! Oh. We don't have much time. I've never done this before, but I'll have to... Sheeran? I'm counting. Uh, hell yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Same thing to get. Another sign. like this I would rather not do that ever again it was really nerve-wracking be kidding me. what are they doing on a missile did they detect all four for something there's no way well listen up Smith are you punks this is as far as you go oh really I was just about to tell you the same Ooh. thing you should be able to get inside from there Oh. Oh, dead. No way. They're inside the missile, too? I don't even want to oh. think about how they managed to figure out our to What is that? That seems to be the device that's generating the force field I mentioned earlier. I analyzed it with my septima. And as far as I can tell, that missile... It's no nuclear or incendiary payload. It's seemingly designed to expand the force field from that device to damage its target. Meaning that if we destroy it, the missile should be completely neutralized. Looks like it. Let's get to it. All right. The device is no longer operational. Now, hurry to the next missile. Okay. How do I do that? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, 
trying to, trying to. on this one. You came all the way here to welcome us. My, this is such an honor. Who's there? All right. My septima is rather impressive, isn't it? Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Zed, leader of Atems. Why do it look like Gunfall, but like the flaming version? Atems? Is that the name of your organization? Correct. I believe you are part of Sumeragi's Bureau of Dragon Saviors, was it? Thanks to one of our members, Septima. That our chicken. Jin was able to track your activities. That Jin Septima? Is that the same type as me? Yep. Don't tell me. That's the power that could revive the primal dragons? Oh my. Please accept my apologies for that. That was an experiment of ours, as part of our research into the primal dragons. An experiment? Research? You were just making their rampages worse! I can understand why you'd be upset, but now that we're done with introductions... <clears throat> Let's talk about that power of yours. I'd like to measure it in real time, in the midst of battle. Ooh. Just what is Ooh. the dragon ruler capable of? Kill a wing, bro. I know all about you, Gunnar. You're Sumeragi's renowned, all-powerful Azure Striker. Just so you know, my Golden Trillium is no slouch either. Golden Trillium? It looks like a fire trauma. Mm, not quite. My golden trillion is closer to that which illuminates all a symptom of the sun. The sun? Over here! Power of nuclear fusion? Box? Ballista! Now, time to leave the nest! A brilliant light from which one must avert their eyes. The golden dawn of a trillion suns. Will you be able to look straight on? The light of a trillion suns? Out of the way! Big talker, aren't you? You don't even hold up to one sun, let right. alone a trillion. Box. You can Box. talk it up if you want, but a septima is a septima. Over and here. my radiant fetters will lock Out it down. Out of the way! Your fate is sealed! Excellent. Easy, easy. I like your assertiveness. However, you'll find that it's not so easy to seal up the path to the future we've chosen. Illuminate the world, Golden Trillion! Shine upon our righteous path! Over here! Burn to ash! Fortress Glow! Now, time to leave the nest! Okay. Over here! Box! Ballista! We're starting to learn this attack pattern. Fortress Glow! Now, time to leave the nest! Okay. Over here! Burn to ash! 
Here I come. Oh, quick. There we go. Sorry. Did nothing less from the former primal dragon and his companion. What are you trying to accomplish by launching these missiles? Ah, uh, well, about that. First, let me clear up your misunderstanding. This isn't a missile, it's just a means of transport. Though it is made from a missile, so I guess you're half right. Eh? Okay. Means of transport? This country is protected by a powerful barrier, so this was the only way we could break through. I'll admit it makes for a rather violent entrance, but we needed to enter the country by any means necessary. My associates should have already disembarked from their transports at this point. Now, I could explain exactly why we're here, but I wouldn't want you to get in our way. Either way, you'll understand soon enough. I'll be seeing you. Uh, I just want to break free. Hold it! Later. He's gone. He said he's with a tent. What in the world are they up to? I know it's not a real missile, but we should stop that field generator just in case. Another dude that I remember. Hey everyone! We've been getting eyewitness reports of what seem to be a Thames members. They've been spotted in four different places. I just sent the data to all of you. Let's see. Wait. That's the Marine Distribution Center, Neptune. Are they trying to disrupt the supply chain? Wait a minute. These are all places where the binding brands are stored. Are you talking about the glaives? 
Those things that kept me sealed in the Institute? No, the glaives that can suppress Septimas are just the mass-produced version of the brands. As for the origin of the glaives, aka the binding brands, there are four binding brands in total, and attempts have been cited in the exact places where the brands are stored. That must be what they're after. Binding brands, huh? If they go and gank those brands, what's gonna happen? I don't know. The binding brands were originally created to bolster the nation's spiritual defenses by controlling the dragon veins, paths of energy that flow throughout the land. But the dragon veins have been stable for a long time, so removing the brand shouldn't immediately cause a problem. We're talking about a bunch of villains who launched missiles into the country. They gotta be up to no good. You're right. No matter what they're planning, we can't let them steal the brands right from under us. Dragon Saviors, move out! <laughs> good luck, everyone! Okay. Good. Because these poor people take care of. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. But yeah, this is definitely a gun vault game. This is so a gun vault game. Like it's always nice to play these types of games are just filled with color. Like there are like so many vivid colors looking at this game. And it just brings joy to my heart. I just like looking at stuff, you know. I'm an artist, so like stuff like this just intrigues me. It really does. I love looking at colors. Did I ever say I look I like looking at colors? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was fun. That was pretty fun. I mean when it comes to like the boss fight, every single um Boss has like a pattern that you have to watch closely and study them. That way you can like find a uh, interception. But that one boss fight with that one red dude is like, if you didn't have that per pervasion, you would be fucked. Like, oh my god. Especially when he did that uh, red ring uh, dimension or whatever. Like, there was no way to dodge that one uh, fire charging attack that he did. The only thing you can do is just use a pervasion. Like, pervasion is pretty much like a godsend technique that this game has bestowed on you. <laughs> and the last boss, oh, that was very fun. That last boss was so fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna stop right here. Definitely gonna play this sometime. Uh, thank you very much. This is Ninja Mega. Thank you very much for watching this gameplay of Azure Striker Gunball 3. Until next time.